Hi boys and girls, today we're going to learn how to draw a great white shark. So go ahead and get your supplies and let's get started. <laughs> Having your paper landscape, the first shape we're going to draw in the middle of your page looks like the top of a giant eye. Okay. The next part is you're going to draw the bottom part, but the lines are not going to connect. Can you see how I left the empty spaces? Okay, now we're going to go down and finish the mouth of the top part and connect it to the bottom. So you can see there's the mouth. Then we're going to add a tail fin. We're going to go up and around, down, down, and up, and connect that line. And there's the back tail. Now we're going to do the top fin, up and down. It's called the dorsal fin. Now we're going to do the sides, down and up. And then a little one for the other side, down and up. See how easy that was? Now we're going to add teeth. So you know sharks have lots of teeth. They have rows and rows and rows and rows of teeth. A lot more teeth than we do. I'm going to draw a circle for the eye and gill slits on the side. As they breathe, get their oxygen through the water and they have gills that can do that. Alright, so now we have the body of the shark. And I'm just going to draw the seabed down here at the bottom. and It's going to be bumpy and uneven and that's okay. And I'm going to draw some kelp coming up. Just squiggly lines going up, and then draw a squiggly line to match it, going down. Up, and down. And you can put them wherever you want. I'm going to put some on the other side. Up, and down. Up, and down. See how you do that? I'm going to draw some waves. Of course, fish live in the ocean. Sharks do. Maybe. Some fish don't live in the ocean. They live in ponds and rivers and streams. I'm going to put some rocks in the bottom. Put some rocks over here. And let's see, since they're in the ocean, I'm going to draw starfish with one line. Just draw one line at a time and you connect them. And I'm just drawing, going slowly, making these short little lines. Put your nice starfish. That's five legs. Now I'm going to draw these little dots going down the arms of the starfish. Two dots on each arm and then three dots in the middle. Okay. I'm going to make a spiral. Here on the side. And then I think I'm going to come over here and do another starfish. Line, the line, and they're all connected. Another line. And this might be a little tricky, so you can always pause your video and stop so you can catch up, or if you need help from an adult. Two dots on each arm of the starfish. Give it some texture. Draw a little bit more over here. It's kelp coming up. Seaweed. And then let's see here. I think I'm going to go over it now with my Sharpie. So get your Sharpie pen out. And we're going to trace all of our lines. So we've got the hard part done. Now it's just the tracing. So we're tracing all these lines, just like that. And you can just take your time because you finished all the hard work now. You're just going to do this part. And if you feel like you're getting behind, you can pause the video and you can come back and push play when you feel like you're all caught up. Let's see, I'm going to trace my starfish. 
and it's okay if you get off the lines. I mean, I do all the time. No big deal because you're not going to see them because once you color and use some bright colors, you won't even see those lines. Spiral shell over here. And starfish right there. Draw those little two dots on each one. And three dots in the center. There. Okay. Now we're going to go up and down, up and down, following the lines of the kelp. And I'm going to go in and do my shark. Just tracing the lines that you did before, and if you don't like some of the lines that you did, you can always go back and erase them and um, start over. Draw my fin, finish the mouth, and add those shark teeth. Give you my gills, and I'm going to color that eye in with my sharpie with black. And let's see, trace the waves. My ocean's got lots of waves. It's kind of choppy water, but you could make smooth water too. The ocean's not always choppy and wavy like that. Okay, so now I've traced everything. I'm going to go in now and add color. Because a picture in black and white is kind of boring. So I picked a shade of green for my kelp. And I'm going to go in and color all those. They come in many different shades of green. But uh, I wanted to use a nice bright green color today. So I'm going to go in and give those a nice first color and do these three on this side and this one and two and three okay now let's see Let's color these rocks. I'm going to use a gray and just lightly color them. Oh, actually black. I guess it's black. Lightly color them in the black. Black kind of looks gray-like, a dark gray when you just lightly color. And then I'm going to go in and color the starfish. It's like a neon carrot color. Nice and bright. Starfish come in so many different colors. Yellows and orange, purples, blues the amazing colors that the ocean creatures have. And then a bright yellow. I think this is called dandelion. If you're seeing those yellow flowers in your yard, they're nice and bright. And then I'm going to go in and color. Let's see. Hmm, I think I will use this magenta on this conch shell. These are great big shells that sometimes you see at the store near the beach. They sell those. And let's see, pick a color for my sand. I'm going to lightly color this with a color called Bittersweet. It's kind of a little brownish, reddish color to it, but you know, we talked about before in some of our other drawings that um, sand comes in all different colors. It comes in white and gray and black and brown, all different kind of colors depending on where you are in the world. So that's kind of cool. So I'm going to give that another little bit of color and go around all these little spots. I don't want it too dark, but I don't want it too light. Okay. Now, let's see here. I'm going to color in next my shark. Now, gray white sharks are interesting. They're one of the larger sharks. And the top part, halfway down their body, is gray. And their belly is white. So I'm thinking their belly is white, so when other animals look up, they kind of camouflage into the background. Because if they were a bright color, like red or blue or even black, you would definitely see that against the water. So things are colored the way they are for a reason. Okay, so we're going to do about halfway down, I'm gonna color the fin. This is the dorsal fin. This is the part that you see sometimes sticking out of the water. And they have 
very powerful back fins that helps them propels them forward. They use that to when they want to go fast. So I'm going to color all that in. And then halfway down the body is just white. So if you ever look up great white sharks, they have white belly. I'm going to color the tips of the fins there. Okay. okay. Now let's see. I'm going to just add a tiny bit. And then I'm going to, after I finish this, and cover any white spots I see. And I'm going to go in and color the ocean. And this is called Pacific Blue. How perfect is that? Pacific, if you don't know, is um, the name of one of the oceans. It's the our ocean that we have here off the Washington Oregon coast. It's called the Pacific Ocean. It goes all the way across to Japan and the Philippines, to South Korea. A lot of Asian island countries. It's all the Pacific, all the way down. Um, one side of South America. Yeah, that's the Pacific Ocean. Hawaii, if you go to Hawaii, that's the Pacific Ocean that you're going into. And isn't it funny how you can go to different places in the world, same ocean, and yet the water will be a completely different color, like um, the the Pacific Ocean in Hawaii is bright blue and very clear. But here, when we go to the beach here, it's really dark, isn't it? The, the water's not clear like that. It's, it's kind of murky here. So depending on the temperature of the water, there are different kinds of plankton and algae that live in the water. So the warmer temperatures, it seems, um, the creatures that live in the water there, and it's dark and so the water looks a lot lighter. But here where we live, because the water is so much colder, um, we have different little critters living in the water and it makes it darker. Isn't that interesting? Just like you go to different beaches in the world, it can still be the Pacific Ocean and the sand will even look a different color. But that has to do with the land. Sand is basically giant rocks that got tumbled down and smashed down over and over and over and over. They were itty bitty tiny. They're still rocks if you look at them under a microscope, but they um, are just very, very small from the ocean waters, that salt water smashing on them, rolling them, moving around. Like some tiny. So let's see, I'm going to finish up coloring this around my shark. Your hand gets tired from coloring the ocean. It's a big job, isn't it? You can put your crayon down, shake out the hands, and you can uh, take a little break with your fingers, stretch them out, and then start again. All right. Let's see, I'm getting any little spots that I've missed. Get the edges here. The edges are always the hardest because I don't want to get it all over the table, so I have to be really careful. All right. So we've got a great white shark today. Looks like everyone did a great job. All right, I hope you like it.